Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Alphonse Laska and Emmanuel Laska. This game was played in Poland in 1909. Alphonse Laska had white pieces and he started with e4. Emmanuel Laska played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, the Italian opening, knight to f6, and now d3, bishop to c5, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, d6, h3, preventing bishop to g4, bishop to e6, white to move, bishop to b5 was played, moving the same piece again. Well, bishop takes bishop is nothing special, after f takes on e6, black is ok. Bishop to b5 was played, a6, bishop takes knight on c6, pawn takes bishop, d4, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop c5, white to move, white has a choice. Queen to d3, defending the pawn, or oh, wild game, he can play queen to c3, allowing knight takes pawn on e4. What would you do? Queen to d3, or queen to c3. After queen to d3, castling, castling, it is about equal. Alphonse Laska wanted to have some adventure. He played queen to c3, tempting black to take the pawn on e4. Would you take on e4 or not? You have to calculate two variations. After knight takes on e4, white may play bishop takes queen on d8 or even queen takes pawn on g7. You have to calculate both lines. So this is the critical position of the game. And if knight takes on e4 works, black wins. If knight takes on e4 doesn't work, black loses the game. Hmm? What would you do? Emmanuel Aska did his calculations and accepted the challenge. Knight takes on e4. Queen takes pawn on g7. If bishop takes on d8, knight takes on c3, bishop takes pawn on c7, knight takes knight on b1, rook takes knight on b1, king to d7 attacking the bishop, bishop to a5, bishop takes pawn on a2 attacking the rook, rook to a1, rook from h to e8 check, king to d2, bishop to d5, and black is better. Back to our game. Alphonse Laska played queen takes pawn on g7, attacking the rook. Queen takes bishop on g5. Queen takes rook check. King to d7. Queen takes rook on a8. Alphonse Laska was happy. This is exactly what he saw in his mind's eye when he was doing his calculations. He planned how he will tell his grandchildren about this game. The story may start like this. Once upon a time, Alphonse Laska killed a dragon and then he defeated Emmanuel Laska. The game continued. Queen to c1. Alphonse Laska even saw this move and then he saw queen takes rook after that and he saw how he is going to win. So this is check, king to e2, but now there was no queen takes rook. Queen to c2 check was played. Indeed, if queen takes rook, then white wins the game. That was the idea. Backdoor game, queen to c2 check. King to e3, queen takes pawn on f2 check. What to move? King to d3 was played. What happens 
If king takes knight, hmm? what would you do? Well, queen takes pawn, check is possible. That is winning the queen. On a8. But even better is bishop to f5, check. And after king to d5, queen to d4, check, mate. So, Alphonse Laska played king to d3. c4, check. King takes knight. f5, check, mate. Well, I have to tell you the truth. Some sources are saying that player with the black pieces was actually Edward Laska. Is this true? Maybe it is. I don't know. All I know is that Laska won. Muhammad Ali once said that all white people look the same. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.